What is good, everybody? It's your boy Sports PSP in the building. It's a beautiful Friday here where I live in South Orange, New Jersey. I hope you all are enjoying a lovely, wonderful day. And what better way to kick it off than talk about some football, especially what happened last night in the season opener of the National Football League between the Buffalo Bills and the reigning Super Bowl champions, the Los Angeles Rams. Um, before the game transpired, I predicted that the Buffalo Bills was going to win 30 to 26. Believe it or not, I was wrong. The score was 31 to 10 Buffalo. I had no idea that was going to be a blowout, a complete cakewalk for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Josh Allen Despite the two interceptions, I thought overall he played particularly well and showed you exactly why I, like so many others, believe he will win the MVP. If you look at his numbers, 26 to 31, 297 yards, three touchdown passes, yes, two interceptions, was only sacked twice, QBR of a scale of 0 to, 0 to 100, 89.9, and a passer rating of 112. On top of that, he led the Bills in rushing, 10 carries for only 56 yards and one touchdown, including that big stiff arm he had. Josh Allen showed you once again what he's capable of, why he's one of the elite young quarterbacks in the National Football League. He showed you he can go up against anybody, and he is just tough and as gifted as they come. Um, as for Matthew Stafford, um, overall, he did not play particularly well. 29 of 41, 240 yards, one touchdown pass, but he had three interceptions. And on top of that, he was sacked seven times. The Buffalo Bills went after Matthew Stafford. Um, on top of that, QBR for Matthew Stafford on a scale of 0 to 100. He finished with a QBR of 20.9 and a passer rating of 63. Uh, Cam Akers, one of the running backs, three carries, zero yards. Daryl Henderson uh, for the Rams, 13 carries for 47 yards. So, I mean, you look at the Bills' offense. They were prolific. And if you look at the Rams' offense, not so much, um, especially with the Rams' rushing game. A total of 18 carries for 52 yards, an average of 2.9 yards a carry. And on top of that, you look at the Bills with the receiving. Stephon Diggs had a excellent game. Eight catches, 122 yards, one touchdown, including that big touchdown he had to put it 31-10 Buffalo when he ran past Jalen Ramsey. Stumbled down a little bit, but great concentration on that touchdown catch. Uh, Jalen Ramsey got cooked. He got smoked in that game. Um, even though he's considered... One of, if not the if not the best cornerback in the National Football League, last night was an embarrassing performance for him. Um, the Rams defense overall, they only sacked Josh Allen twice. For whatever reason, the Rams just got embarrassed. I get it. It's the season opener. It's week one. Um, you don't want to rush to panic just yet. But overall, that was embarrassing. But I don't want to talk about that with the Rams. I actually want to talk about how good Buffalo is and how legit Buffalo can be. Buffalo showed you what they can be going forward with the quarterback that they have in Josh Allen. But not just Josh Allen, their defense. Last year, they had the number one defense in the National Football League, led by defensive coordinator Leslie Frazier. And again, the defense is picking up back where they left off. Mind you. They did it without Tredarius White, their cornerback. Imagine how good the Bills' defense would be when he comes back. But Vaughn Miller, this is exactly why <laughs> you paid a ton of money if you're Buffalo to get him. I mean, two sacks in that game, tackle, um, three tackles for loss. He put a lot of pressure on the Rams' offense. Ron Von Miller is still one of the elite defensive players in the NFL, even at age 33, given the injuries that he had in his last couple of years in Denver. He's showing you, he's proving you he's still around. He's still one of the best out there in a National Football League. 
But um, I just got to give credit where credit is due to Buffalo. Um, what a way for them to start off the season with the victory. I still believe Buffalo will come out of the AFC and compete for a Super Bowl. I also still believe Josh Allen will win the league MVP. Um, great overall performance by Buffalo. Great job coaching by Sean McDermott. Sean McVay just got embarrassed, but still, it's just one game. Let's not panic. Let's not overreact just yet. But anyway, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Do you think it was more bad Rams or do you think it was more good Buffalo? Outside of that, hope y'all enjoyed the rest of y'all day. I'll try to come up with as more football or basketball content as I can. And God bless. Thank you.